Your loss. Pop, what are you up to? I'm going in the moving business. A very special kind of moving. Oh, really? Well, you couldn't even lift a TV, never mind a piano. I'm not going to do any moving. No, we all have our own jobs. I'm the inside man. So when do you open your office in Beverly Hills? Don't laugh. I just may do that. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. One minute. Sit down a minute. I want to ask you a question. What? Um, suppose you had a check for a million dollars. What would you do with it? I'd cash it. <laughs> and then what? I'd get myself a pretty nose hey. and I'd pretty myself up. I'm gonna do something about that. It's all set. I got someone who'll give us a complete layout. They actually work in the bank. Wait a minute. Is that so-called employee? You mean we split four ways? No, it's still three. Uh, there'll be some payment up front. But what you guys have earned my savings, we'll have enough to go into business. Suppose that employee of yours has a big mouth and goes to the cops. Uh, this employee will have slipped out of the country long before we do our moving. When do we do our moving? Christmas. Christmas Day to be exact. <laughs> 9 West Olympic. Like I said, I've got an employee that'll give us a complete layout. And now that's going to be TNS brake liners. You guys are going to business. What's TNS? Teddy and Steve. Um, the brakes? I mean, we're going to be working in a brake business? Yeah. I'm not a mechanic. Don't worry about it, will you, please? Courtesy of the USC School of Architecture is this. The basement runs a full length of the building. It's 28 feet below ground. The floor of this basement is a uh, reinforced concrete 27 inches thick. Where's the money stashed? Oh, the money's in the uh, vault room and in the sorting room. Ah, aren't we going to have problems with, like, the consecutive numbers on the bills? What are you talking about? I, I mean, the bank robbers always seem to be caught by the, the serial number that's on the bill. You mean the consecutive numbers? Mm -hmm. Oh, gentlemen, I thought of that. The vault room that we're hitting only has used bills in it. It's very difficult for their consecutive numbers to use bills. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> I mean, there couldn't be a better mix. <laughs> I've found it a lot harder to sell Gail on the idea. But she was the only way we could get the information. moving the equipment into the rented shop. See, I wanted to be sure they had a legitimate cover. be longer than that. Oh, wait a minute. I wrote it down somewhere. <laughs> you know, you would not believe the room where we sort all the money. I mean, it looks like a big classroom with, with dozens of girls sitting at dozens of wooden tables. Well, that's a sorting room. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What about the vault? Oh, here it is. Uh, the basement? 
Yeah. Well, again, I mean, it's just not real. Uh, except for the big vault door, it looks more like a stationery store with, with stacks of bills sitting on old shelves. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happens if there's a fire? Oh, the rules tell us to close the vault door and let it burn. Let it burn? <laughs> the thought of it. Mm-hmm. Okay, see, I did write it down. 43 feet. Yeah. So, at 1 to 10, lay off 4.3. And that should take yeah. you right to the boiler. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going to go put some coffee on. Oh, good. Okay. Yes, sir. You're nervous about it. I have to take a little chance. But you, you're an employee of the bank. All of the employees are going to be suspect. Now, you've got to leave before we ever start. Yeah, but Steve and Teddy... Hey, the juveniles. The worst that can happen to them is they'd be tried for an offense against property only. They'd probably go to a juvenile facility for a year. They'd even get to finish their education on the state. <laughs> if they nail you, you've had it. They'll throw away the key. Hey, what's with the tears? You spoil that pretty face of yours. <laughs> I'm afraid it's not very pretty. It's gonna be. Anyway, what are you worrying about the money for? Can't hurt the banks, they're insured. 